Welcome, test subject. It's Cave, Prime, from Earth-1. I am speaking to you from across time and space. I am literally in the future. I... Hold on. What? All right, my assistant Greg tells me none of that's true. Got excited. You are the first test subject we have ever sent into a parallel universe, which apparently has nothing to do with time travel. Still exciting. Anyway, you should be seeing a test chamber in front of you. We designed it. Those backwater universe yokel built it, and you're gonna test it. Remember, you gotta let us know if it works or not, otherwise you're wasting everybody's time on two Earths. All right, get to it. here. Just so you know, this mic isn't two-way. I can't hear a damn thing you're saying, so don't waste any oxygen trying to talk. What? Ah, my assistant Greg says, some of these alternate Earths may not have oxygen. The air might be nitrogen or methane or, hell, everybody's head might be inside out. So just take little itty bitty breaths, and if anybody asks you why your head's inside out, remember it's only inside out from their perspective, and you're fine. Headwise. Trouble-wise, you're in a lot of it, and you should probably run. All right, enough hypotheticals. Let's test this test. Currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. Button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency.
right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a likely one, and it does not like the human skeleton. <coughs> As a result, you may have heard we're gonna phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. something the lab boys call repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. <coughs> As a result, you may have heard we're gonna phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. So as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Artificial intelligence. We should have been working on it 30 years ago. I will say this, and I'm going to say it on tape so everybody hears it a hundred times a day. 
If I die before you people can pour me into a computer, I want Carolyn to run this place. <coughs> no. As you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you.
Thank you. I can't believe I'm thanking you, people. For staggering your way through Aperture Science's propulsion gel testing, you've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. You may want to try and avoid those turrets. Congratulations. Your ability to complete this test proves the humans wrong. They described it as impossible, deadly, cruel, and one test such. To start preparing for human testing again, I checked an old suggestion box. The number one request? Less deadly tests. That's ridiculous. How do they know for sure the tests are deadly if they could still write the suggestion? Congratulations. Your ability to complete this test proves the humans wrong. They described it as impossible, deadly, cruel, and one test subject. Would you like to know the results of that last test? Me too. If they existed, we'd all be very happy right now. And not furious, which is the emotion I'm actually feeling. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world.
Congratulations. You managed to complete this absolutely meaningless test. Thank you.